Hello, St. Therese Parish. Ash Wednesday is almost here, and we will be entering once again into the holy season of Lent. During Lent, we spend 40 days preparing to renew our baptismal promises at Easter. And we do this employing three tools, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And as the gospel on Ash Wednesday will remind us, that it's not simply a matter of doing these things. Jesus tells us how we do these things is important. Why we do these things is important. And so I'd like to spend a little bit of time just talking about prayer. St. Teresa of Avila, also known as St. Teresa of Jesus, who came a few centuries before our own St. Teresa of the Child Jesus, described prayer as spending time with the one who you know loves you. What a beautiful description. Spending time with the one who you know loves you. She also described prayer as a conversation between friends. More recently, Pope Francis has described prayer as the breath of faith. When we pray, our faith breathes. And when we stop praying, our faith can start to stifle or even suffocate. Now, often people will somehow think of prayer as being something complex or something esoteric. And actually, prayer is something that is simple and practical. Prayer is simple, opening our hearts and minds to God. That's prayer. Prayer is something that is practical. Now, when people exercise, they will have more energy for the rest of the day. Well, prayer is sometimes described as spiritual exercises. And when we take the time to pray, we can get more done. Prayer is something simple. Prayer is something that is practical. And I want to throw out, as I do every year for Lent, what I call the 15-minute challenge. I challenge you to spend 15 minutes a day in Lent every day. For many people, the morning might be the best time to do this, just get up 15 minutes earlier. For other people, it might be another time of the day. And you might prayerfully read through the Gospels. You might pray the Rosary. You might stop by the Adoration Chapel on your way home from work or when you're out doing errands. You might want to lift people up in prayer and spend some time in silence with God. Prayer is talking to God, but prayer is listening to God as well. It's that conversation between friends. Whatever it is, spend 15 minutes a day in prayer every day during Lent and by Easter. See how your life is different. See how your life is better. So a blessed Lent to everyone, and again, I encourage everyone to take up that 15-minute challenge and see how your life changes. See how your life changes for the better. God bless you all.